I myself, I'm an aspiring director with no specific strengths when it comes to writing. Right. And that concerns me a little bit because I feel like right. these days you have to do a little bit of your own storytelling right. to get yourself picked up. Right. Um, and I've noticed that in your earlier works, uh, you provided the story for or co-wrote right. most of your films. Um, but recently you don't take as much of a part in that in that part of the process? Uh, yes or no. If I'm wrong. If you're a great writer, yeah, go ahead, you know, like knock yourself out. I don't shoot my own films. I don't know why I would write them, so... So I just, at a certain early age, I, I realized, okay, well, if I'm not a good writer, once I get over the <coughs> humiliation of that, then I realized, well, okay, where are the writers? Where do I find the writers? And then you come to realize there's a f million stories out there. There's short stories, there's novels, there's plays, there's screenplays. There's like, there's an unending supply of stuff. So it's really about where does your story come from? Like as the director, I figure that I'm involved in sort of every aspect from promotion to financing to, you know, that I know uh, as much as I can about each of these steps. It will just make, it will help. Because the director's job is really about unity. It's about how to create unity in the production. And if you have unity in the production, you have a hit. When there's no unity, that's where like, you know, the, the production values are great, but the story's yeah. Or the story's amazing, but the acting's crap. Or, you know, there's a piece that's not unified with the rest, right? So the director's job is simply, you know, create unity of the, you know, in the production. It's like translating and delegating and having a lot of trust in everyone around you. Yeah, like getting the best people. To me, it's about getting the best people you can, people that are better than you at everything, you know? Like, you're just the... You're the antenna, and uh, <coughs> you are there to encourage the best out of people. This is a good segue. Yeah. My next question for you um, is, there are a few common recurring themes that I've noticed within your films, uh, and I'd like to, if it's okay with you, I'd like to bring them up one at a time and just sort of sure. have you commentate yes, on them. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so number one is rock and roll. I mean, oh, yeah. you... Whether whether the story is built around music, yeah. or maybe one of the characters' backstories is that they're a roadie that's on the run, or it maybe the music is just in the score for the film right. itself. It right. just it feels like it's always there. Right. There's a heavy influence there. And what uh, what is it in your backstory? I'm a frustrated musician. I'm a frustrated punk rocker. I grew up, and that you know, probably there are certain things in your life that kind of connect you to the world or the planet or the now. But when you know you're mid-teens and you're like suddenly it's like, it's to me it was music. Uh, musicians are you know great heroes of mine. It's like right there, right? It's, it's honest. It's authentic. You can sniff out the kind of the bullshit from the real deal very quickly. Maybe the idea of the band was very is a, was a powerful thing for me. The idea of being in a band. Like you f with one, you f with us all, right? Like there is a power in this community, this small, this small, uh, powerful, creative community called a band. And certain people had certain roles. You know, there was the front guy, and there was the artist, and there was the the wacko and the schizophrenic, right? Who the hell you think you are? Taking a hooker to a cypress bowl. Who the hell you think you are? It was a natural thing, I think, when it came to. I think making movies, you kind of, well, what do you make movies about? Well, you make movies about the things that you love. The second theme that I'm noticing a lot in your films is uh, the open road. It's sort of an ever-changing, flexible metaphor for the characters that are inhabiting it. Um, it allows you to put more insight into your films than just the screenplay can provide. W what is it that you, s that you love so much about the open road? I think with the road, it's sort of like the the sea of possibilities that things can happen, and the episodic nature of a road trip of like time and space being kind of carved up into where you are at any one time on the road. And it took me a, a quite a while to understand how important the writing is, what how important that map is, and I think the initial attraction to the road was the idea that the road is is already a script, you know? There's a departure point, there's a crisis, and there's a destination, and there's the people you meet along the way. And there's the trajectory of the narrative. It was about the trip, and it was about the people that you traveled with, or the people that you met, and that becomes the story. 